Hello everyone, Andrew 2 here, and I am back with another Total World League Siege Season 4 battle between Parthia's Sinus on defense with Donald as Parthia and Kirky as Colchis. And Simp City, my own team on attack here, with me as Egypt, I almost said Athens there, and then Arcadable Skills as Bactria here on the settlement of Berdigala, same settlement as from the earlier battle. Oh, Tur, my bad. This is Tur, not Berdigala. I need to fix that for the last video. <laughs> I kind of get. I, I'm not the best with names of maps, honestly. I think this is Tur. Yeah, because Berdigala. This is definitely Tur, because Tur has the wall up here. So, sorry about that little side tangent. Um, I will have the army comps rolling across the screen. Um, don't really have a lot to say before this battle, although it is definitely a good one. I'm only covering the good ones for the regular seeds for the group stage, so let's see how it goes. Let's get it rolling, because usually battle's a bit slow at the beginning. Take a look at the army comps. Looks like marketable skills has brought the ballista. Usually you don't want to bring two ballistas. Um, immediately Colchis here sallies out, Chevron Hillman to protect the ballista. And uh, I'd say mistake number one here by attackers is we do not have towers. I say we because my team do not have towers set up here to take out the artilleries. Looks like Marketable's adjusting his towers here to get shots to destroy the wall. Usually people destroy it right here on this map. Cretan archers. Yep, I went Royal Peltis spam, which uh, we'll see how that works out for me. I've really never elite spammed anything, but um, Spartan Royal Spartans for Sparta and uh, O Sworn for Nervi. I've definitely never elite spammed Egypt before, so it's a learning experience. Lots of Thorax. Eastern Spearmen, Mercenary Syrian Archers. Um, attackers should have an uh, um, archer advantage here. Uh, Parthian Foot Archers are quite solid, so a little bit low armor on them, so you have to be careful with them. And then Eastern Archers are just kind of, they're, they're, they're alright for their, they're pretty solid for their price, I suppose. I suppose. Again, very little armor. Compared to the Cretans and Syrians, forty and thirty armor respect, uh, thirty and forty armor respectively. Get good tower shots. Doesn't look like he's missing a whole lot, which is good. I'm actually gonna fast forward a wee bit here. Oh, I do see a unit. Yep, camel cataphract. I saw that here on the mini map. Keep an eye on those, because you know he has a gin as well. There's another cat cataphract. Probably royal cataphract. All right. The wall has been destroyed. Very slow start. Marcus. Starts to push up his towers. Um, look like either defensive ballista has shot a single round. They're saving it till we push up a bit. <coughs> Smart. You're gonna go to triple fast forward. Nothing's happening right now. <laughs> Marketable's towers. What are they doing? I remember this actually. It's been about three, maybe four weeks since this battle happened. But I, so I remember the broad strokes of what happens here. But these little things like this, I'd forgotten about. Go back down to double. Triple's a bit laggy. Uh, looks like the hillman's gonna run to the forest. Hopefully, and defenders hope hoping that we'll forget about it. 
cataphracts. If I remember correctly, this is about the time we finally noticed this cataphract unit. Neither of us noticed it for a very long time, but we did eventually notice it, which is good. Um, we're going to move archers into the forest, it appears. Marketable takes an artillery. Oh. Artillery shot over here. Yeah, he killed eight Cartley Axemen. Not terrible. Probably not the best shot, though. The Colchis Ballista has started to open fire. <clears throat> this cataphract running way off to the side. Probably going to try to come in through here, if I had to guess. Not really guess, because I do know what happens in this battle, but... <laughs> I'll leave it at that. We have now completely exposed our ballistas, and they haven't used any ammo. Now, the Colchis one's pretty far away to hit the ballista from way over here, but the Parthia one's well in range to try to destroy... Oh, it's been opening fire. 41 kills. Oh yeah, getting some shots. Nice shots on these Thorax and Bactrian Hillman pushing up. Another Hillman guarding that one. I don't know how long that's been out there. I'm about to stop fast forwarding. I did not forget about that. Alright, I will stop it now. Because we got... It is shield side, but it's just Hillman as well. So they'll take those free jabby volleys on the Thorax mostly. Battle number two that I'm recording today. I'm trying to make up for lost time. Took a couple weeks, maybe closer to three week break from uploading. I just got a bit burned out. It happens. I think I just over, as I said last video, I kind of overwhelmed myself. Oh, oh no, what am I saying? These are not defending you and the selling out. <laughs> I'm just, it's kind of confusing to me because my team's the red team, and my opponents are the yellow team which is it's from a spectator actually i think it's from donald's perspective she's on the opposing team but yeah uh i got a bit overwhelmed trying to upload one battle from each matchup and group stage and there's so many of those so i'm just gonna do the highlight highlight reel and i will cover one battle from each match of the playoffs though possibly even both if they're both really good uh, this one Bastion Hillman looks like he's gonna get sandwiched up pretty good. I think he was trying to burn down the tower with this, and it just went in. Because this is very awkward. I don't remember this happening whenever I was playing the battle, but not a great start. Yeah, just getting completely wrecked by Hillman and Axman. Yeah, these actually Axman have been thrown. So, Markable's probably too late, but he's going to try to send in some Thorax to help support a couple units. While I push up my archers, he, as Markable also opens fire on some Eastern Spearmen, probably not the best thing to shoot, to be honest. I mean, I know, he, but he, not the worst also, because it probably is one of the worst units to shoot objectively, but this situation, we need to break through here, and by shooting them... Spear side, it will help us do that quicker. Um, looks like I'm going to reposition my archers. I didn't like what I was seeing there. Maybe this artillery was opening fire. Squeezing shots between these towers. Arcadable needs to... Bactria. I'm going to try to call them by their faction names, because some people don't, don't really know who's controlling who. Bactria needs to get rid... Needs to dismount all these siege towers, but I know it's an easy thing to forget about. Definitely not the greatest start for the attackers. Taking quite a lot of losses, especially over here to the ballista. And just sacrifice the hillman, basically. They get the tower burned, though. One positive, but was at what cost? Also used up a decent amount of ammo on quite low value tr units. Oh, the Cartley Axeman. Cartley Axeman, actually, not the Hillman. It's going to come around, and yep, Bactria sees it. Bactria is going to try to go burn this tower, which is very important to do, because if 
it's uh, pretty easy to protect this tower, and it'll just be shooting you the entire time you're trying to push up this way. And this is the best way to push on this map, because if you push over into here or here, you're opening up plenty of sword side shots. <clears throat> I can't believe I got the settlement name wrong though in that last video. I'll have to go back and fix it in the description. I don't know if I said it in the video or not, but it was Tur, not Bertigala. Actually, Bertigala is, uh, because as I'm recording this, we've been through the first week of playoff rounds, the quarterfinals, and we've got semifinals coming up soon. And it's on the map of Bertigala. Oof, lots of these arrows just hitting the wall. Uh, kind of just front dumping these Parthians on the wall. All these Parthians are throwing down in my Royal Peltis, which is not ideal. Oh no! That's not a great move by me here as Egypt. Not a good bet, Jabby Volley there. I need to make the most out of my. Oh, I'm still throwing. What am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta make good use of these Royal Peltis. It's at least banned. As you can see. Actually, balance of power is in our favor. Like, quite a lot. Probably because of Cataphracts from Parthia. And also just... Oh, I know what it is. It's because of the amount of ammo. The amount of javelins all my Royal Peltis have. Make the... That's what's making the balance of power seem so much in the attacker's favor. Uh, did those cartloos get into anything? No, but they've done their job of... <clears throat> oh no, they didn't do their job. Nice job there by Marketable as Bactria. Get that tower burn, that's a huge play. Very important for, the, for successfully attacking this map. It's a complete grind here, just trying to give us some... <laughs> get us inside the settlement. Um, good shots here on these Parthian foot archers, though. Yeah, killed 13 of them. I think it was a mixture of me and, of, uh, Egypt and Bactria. Both, both of us shooting. Oh, uh, looks like... Oh, Camel Cataphracts are on the move. Gonna etch in closer. Oh, into the forest. I wonder if we saw that move. And actually, since I was on the attacking team, I can tell you we did not notice this. <laughs> And I wish I could see, I, I know I have, I think I have a Levy Thoreo spear. I think I brought like two or three of them. I think I have a Levy Thoreo in there. I don't know, I don't remember what Marketable has, if anything. Looks like I do, I did throw a Royal Peltis. Oof, only 10 kills and down 34 men. But we are finally breaking through here. Forcing Colchis to push back. Or fall back, rather. As Parthia creeps up his camels, I still think we have not noticed them. We noticed them initially move over there, but we didn't notice that they moved up. Oh, we might be trying to get a charge on these archers. There is a Thoreo spear right there, but there's also a hillman pushing up that might distract a Thoreo spear. Finishing off this Axeman unit. While getting shot up, though. Oof, not good, marketable. <laughs> getting his thorax shot in the back by these Parthians and Easterns. He has turned around now, but the damage is done. He's going to try to move up some counter archers. Only 15 minutes left in this battle, so something drastic is going to happen.
looks like Markable's battery is going to send up this very depleted thorax to maybe hopefully soak up some arrows or javelin volleys. If the defenders are smart, they will not waste those on them. It appears they will not. As I push up the rest of my army, at least most of it. Didn't really look at the defending comps, but they seem like pretty standard competitive Parthian cultures build. Lots of Cartleys, Parthian swords, Parthian foot archers, and eastern archers, some hillmen. Oh no. I bl if I recall correctly, we believe we did not think that this Colchis Ballista still had ammo, and oh boy did he. And he has a very juicy shot right in here. Also a juicy opportunity for to get into these archers for the camel cataphracts. There are a lot of royal peltis and a Thoreos around though, so it might be tough to get in there. Interesting marketable chevron is Thoreo Spear. <clears throat> I usually don't like chevroning units in general. Um, unless I just have like a little bit spare of spare money to just that I can't afford a new unit. That's pretty much the only time I'll ever chevron. Push here by these by this depleted thorax up against a also kinda depleted axeman. And then this other unit of fresh axemen are gonna try to probably get a javelin angle. Yep. Not the best though. Yeah, he looks like he's cut down a few of his own men there. But I think he did more damage than, than harm there. Try to get this alternate angle here from the defender's perspective. Colchi and Noble Gen pushing up, possibly probably to pop off some abilities, which is very good to do. What is this? Off in the distance. Oh, just a couple of rocks. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like a silo. I really need to get my stuff in here. I do have one Dorax. I think that's all I had, if I recall correctly. Probably should send that in. Maybe a Levy Thoreos. <clears throat> right now, Marketable is just trying to brute force through here, but it's going to be very tough to get through all these axemen. Definitely some friendly fire there in that volley, but again, probably more damage than harm. I am sending in one Royal Peltis that I think I guess I've used up all my ammo on it. With only 30 kills, unfortunately. It is racking up kills very quickly, though. <clears throat> good, good archer volleys. Yep, onto the sword side here. Pretty big mistake there by Marketable. Although he didn't, he did he. It's tough. It, this is a tough map to attack. It's got to be said. Because I will tell you. Uh, the other outcome of the other battle in this matchup where the roles reversed and we defended against Parthia's Finest, uh, we won that battle. Thanks in part to this wall segment right here where, where I had Slingers po post up. But this is a tough map to attack. It's like, this is definitely the best place, the direction to attack. But as you're seeing here, if you push down into here, it opens up the sword side shots. But if you don't do that and just push here, you're just going to get jabby super hard. It will be shield side, but it'll still be brutal. Syrians unloading on the gen. Yep, classic marketable skills front dump on the gen. <laughs> Royal Cataphract gen. Oh, artillery raining down. Not a great shot there. Didn't hit anything really. Royal Cataphract probably popping, gonna you know, pop off engine abilities. Wouldn't be surprised if Patria starts shooting at that as well. <laughs> I 
again. Unfortunate. Well, actually, no. This Parthian foot arch. Actually, this might be the one from earlier that I kind of shot. Yeah, maybe some of those actually hit, but I saw a lot, a lot of missed rocks there. Actually, Colt's just going to throw in his gen, probably because he's getting shot. He'll get a nice... Okay, Markable will get a bit of a counter charge, but it's a very small unit. It'll get gobbled up. <clears throat> Still, the Cataphracts lurking. Waiting for the right time to strike. Maybe wait until I get a few more of my Royal Peltis and my Levy Dreos inside the settlement. How's this Royal Peltis doing? 92 kills. Pretty, pretty solid. If you consider the fact that I was already down a lot of men before it even got in the melee. I've moved up a couple of Cretans inside the settlement to look like pretty successfully push off these Parthian foot archers to help Marketable and I break through this side. Oh no. Artillery coming down into archers. Oh, here we go. This might be where the camels start. Coincided with the Hillman push. Uh, I don't know. He's going to actually engage here. Looks like he'll think better of it and just chill out for a bit. He's still hidden, so we can't. We don't know exactly where it is. I, I think, honestly, we think it's still back here. I don't think either of us have noticed he's pushed up his camels to here. 51 kills on the ballista. I don't know if it's out of ammo or what or not. I think it... Nope, it's still got ammo. It's currently firing. I've got... Both got some archers inside the settlement. It's done a pretty good job of pushing off these archers. So now we just need to push hard. But it's going to be tough getting through these cartleys. Regular axemen and Colchian nobles. Although we are still shooting the gin here. It is, it is taking losses. Um, another not great artillery shot here. Looks like I got a single eastern archer. Definitely leaving some rune there would be desired. <laughs> Kirky's gonna try to run his gin for his life. We will front dump the gin. Oh! No longer hidden. He's moved up his camels to this set of woods. Maybe gonna try to go for the ballista. Although now I think it's out of ammo. Although marketable does usually dismount his crew as soon as he runs out of ammo, so maybe it does still have a few shots. Colchi noble Jin down to fifty dudes. Jin's still alive though, so. Honestly, a pretty not a pretty big fail for us attackers not getting that gin. We wasted a lot of ammo on there with the sole purpose of trying to kill the gin, and we didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, we did, we basically made the unit no longer combat effective, but you can still drop off abilities and does not have the morale debuff from losing the gin. <laughs> we really needed that gin to die. <laughs> uh, where'd the royal cataphract go? I don't know. Oh, here he is. Maybe gonna try to do a cataphract sandwich. Yep, there's that Levy Thoreos I was talking about. Getting a nice charge onto the back and side of my Levy Thoreos. Gonna completely wreck that unit. In the meantime, Royal Cataphract charging the Eastern Spearman. We do, we do see it though. Unloading with our archers. Here goes Camel Cataphracts, as I thought they would. They completely wrecked at the Reyes. It'll probably come back, but I've got Royal Peltis lined up. I do get. Looks like a lot of those missed, actually. Pretty decent charge there. Oh, Royal Cataphract Jin getting in. To the archers. Oh man. Getting through that royal peltis into the more archers. 
Marketable is going to try to get his gin in there. Good melee cavalry unit. Oh, this is terrible, though, for the attackers. We have... Our archers are decimated. Marketable does... Battery does have his... Oh, no! Oh, my God, dude. We were right. I was told that... <clears throat> after this battle happened, that... Our own guys decimate a marketable gin. And oh my god, it looks like it's me more than marketable. Everyone was making fun of him for uh, killing his own gin. But <laughs> it looks like oh my god, I've wrecked marketable's gin. Yep, you gotta be careful where you're throwing your jabbies. If you've got friendlies in front of you, you're gonna kill them as well. Camel's still going, 324 kills. I think the Jin routed, though. I didn't see how many kills he got. Probably about as many. But really, once they got to those archers, it was GG. Because <clears throat> now they can rain hell, the hell down on us, and we can't do anything about it. I... <clears throat> still just shooting at... at um... <clears throat> Dead units here, wasting even more am of the precious ammo we have left. But oh man, oh man, did I obliterate Marketable's gin. But it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's kind of a meme of us killing our own gin, but it really, I don't think it mattered a whole lot. Because once those archers died. Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. Once those archers died, I think this battle is pretty much lost anyway. Sure, it would have been nice for if Marketable Jin hadn't died, but I don't think it would have ultimately made that big of a difference. But yeah, they, even though we knew, I can tell you, we did not, at least I didn't notice, and Marketable did not call it out, so I assume neither of us noticed that the Jin came out. So we were just keeping our eye on this Cataphract, and had no clue there was another one coming to hit us too. I mean, we knew he had it, but we didn't know he'd brought it out yet, so we thought we would have time to react. So at this point, we're just gonna we it's it's pretty much over. <laughs> at this point, we're basically just playing for stats to try to get some kills before our armies break from army losses. I think both of our gen no my gen's not dead, but it's probably about to be because for some reason I sent him in first. Probably I think it's because he was getting shot at, so I just sent him into combat instead of running away and getting shot in the back. And I do still have a lot of royal peltis left, but. With this complete Defender Archer Supremacy now, we have no chance from this point, unless they completely choke. Yep, just unloading on my gen, they're returning the favor from earlier in the battle. As you can see, there's not much time left. Our armies are just decimated. That really rattled us. We whenever I noticed that second I don't think I even I don't think I noticed that second unit, the gen, until it had gotten all the way over here to the archers. Just complete lack of awareness by me especially. I think Marketable noticed it, but he didn't He didn't call it out, or at least make it clear to me that that, that was happening, so... It's not a, well, not a great attack... ...in general. It wasn't the worst, it was going okay up until that point, up until the Cav got involved. Not really much to say here, as I said earlier, once our archers died, it was, it's GG. Um... Because... We're just going to get ammo dumped. All my Royal Pelletists are going to not be very effective while getting absolutely dumped. And my Levy Thoreos. And not to mention, they really just don't have any room to like throw their jabbies back. And because of all these buildings, we can't even hit the archers. Just a shameful display by <laughs> by Sim City here on attack. My poor archers that came back from routing. And yet, by the time they get back, my whole army is routing from army losses. Just complete annihilation by those by those camel cataphracts and royal cataphracts. Very well done by Parthia there, Donald. Look at the post-battle results here, starting with Donald himself. Oh man, even even worse than I thought for that Jin. 
I thought it might have about as much as the other, but about 130 more. <clears throat> exactly 130 more, actually. Uh, didn't even have to use the Eastern Javelin Men Archers. Didn't start off too well, to be honest. We were actually... The attackers were keeping them pinned down pretty well, making them fall back. But once our archers got killed by the camels and royal cataphracts, they had a, they had a field day. Um, 256 on the Parthians, that's pretty devastating. But the cataphracts are the star of the show, counting for almost half his kills. Kirky, um, not, gonna ha not the most impressive kills, but he didn't have to do much. Didn't lose, didn't really get, a lot of his units didn't get engaged, and most of his kills appear to be in his archers, which, same as the Parthian archers, started off not the best, but uncontested, they rained hell down upon my <laughs> Royal Peltis. Axemen were kind of holding the line, but they were getting kind of wrecked, to be honest, by the, th by the Thorax. Um, but you can't really judge him, his kills too much because he has one, two, three, four, five Cartleys basically untouched. And that's like, you can somewhat easily get, as long as they don't get ammo dumped, you can get like 200 kills a piece on Cartleys. I really like them. <clears throat> uh, moving on to the attackers. I'm marketable here. 1347 kills. Um, unfortunate what happened to his gen. I apologize <laughs> for that. We were, we were clowning him for killing his own gym, but it looked like it was by far me who did more damage than anybody else, including the defenders. Ballista, pretty decent kills considering he destroyed the wall, but there were a lot of missed shots there too. Um, archers got, unfortunately, completely destroyed, as you saw. Thorax also just, and Thoreos, not too, didn't do too well, even before. They were doing, they were starting to do all right on the inside there, right before the cataphract charge. And the me, very shameful, didn't even break a thousand kills. Um, not really any units doing well. I guess one Royal Peltis, 191 kills. The only unit that got over 100, almost got to 200, but yeah. Uh, probably, I would say probably the worst battle for Simp City here, the attackers, my team. But I hope you enjoyed. I'm I'm sure Donald did. If, <laughs> if he's watching this video, I'm sure he will. He's been looking forward to this one, getting to relive his glory, and um, probably have another two videos out this week to try to make up for lost time. And so probably Thursday next one will come out. And until then, um, see you later.